story time. So Jesus in the word said to Peter, ask him a question actually after Peter denied Jesus three times. Jesus showed up and asked Peter, do you love me more than this do? And Peter said, yes. He agreed to that. And then Jesus said, feed my sheep. He also continued and asked Peter and then feed my lamb, my sheep. Jesus was more concerned about Peter's heart for him. So some of us, we want to be loved. We want love, but let's get this right. The first love that we need that will help us to love people, that will help us to love even ourselves the way that we have to love ourselves, it is the love of God. The love of God is enough that it can drain out the toxicity in our hearts that we keep on hiding and make us in behaviors if we find the toxicity that just hides in our character, acting like we are cool, we can carry ourselves, we're doing fine. The love of God, it, it's able to move all these walls that we created, the walls that we use to defend ourselves when we were scared. You know, sometimes you think that I'm protecting myself while you're shouting people away from you, people who are supposed to help you and support you because you used to do these things and now you don't even know how to remove them. So I want us to know that when we pray to God, he will respond. We will call upon his name, he will respond. When we don't get the love or when we don't respond to his love or we don't connect or allowing God to love us, we won't be able to love people. We want to be married. How are we going to love our husbands? How are we going to love our kids? Sometimes you even behave in a strange way because you need to heal. You need Jesus. You need him to help you. You need Jesus to show up. You need Jesus to help you. You need Jesus to, to heal your heart. The things that no one knows about. If you're like me, you want to help, but you don't want everybody to know about stuff. I just go to God. I pray about it. And I see things happen because I talk to God. He's my counselor. He's my advisor. So don't die with your wounds. Don't die with your pain. And sometimes with pain, we don't want to agree that we were wrong. You know, healing is also part of... Um, admitting that it was my fault but abuse sometimes is also thinking that you are always the problem whatever happens it's your fault that is also abuse you responding to the pain but when we cast our cares upon him you see the bible says that casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you when you do that he will come to your character because we got to be preaching the gospel we got to answer our call we have to show you what to do the work of god but if we are broken how are we going to preach then you start preaching from our wounds and you start breaking people's hearts. We start messing people's up, people up. We say things we're not supposed to say because we're bleeding inside and we need help. But when we cry to God, he comes to our hearts and heals us and helps us to be restored in a manner that you would be even like shocked. Like, how did I preach like that? How did I show so much love for people? Like, I was completely cut off. How am I even bold? Like I used to be afraid. I used to be scared. I used to think that I'm an introvert. But because we have just allowed Jesus to come into our life, now we're showing up so much better than we used to show up in our lives. So God calls us and he wants us to show up in the world. But we cannot be our best without experiencing the love of God. That is our boast. It helps us to stand. It's our boost. It gives us the strength and courage that no man is going to give us in this world. That not even our mothers or fathers, they love us, of course, but they cannot give us that. They don't have that in them. God has this supernatural ability that nobody has. And with the love of God, I look at the way I speak to people now. I look at the way that I show up now. I am a different person. And I was not like this. So I know if we ever feel tired, Let's remember that God is there. Let's keep praying. He will answer. Let's call upon his name. He will respond. May God bless you. May God keep you. May he shine his face upon you. I love you. Take care and bye.